Well, I think it's about time I make a little video about my hair. What? Winston make a video about his hair? That's bizarre. That's absurd. Winston doesn't do hair. Doesn't think about hair. Who is this asshole talking about his hair? What kind of a vain prick is this? I'm a vain prick. I apologize. So, here we are, talking about my hair. And it's been, what now? Probably... I don't know, it's February 1st, so it'd be January, December, November. I certainly stopped trying to comb or do anything to style my hair, at least in September. But it's been a really difficult process. No, it's not difficult. Doing nothing about your hair is not a difficult thing. I'll rephrase that. It's not been a difficult process. However, it has been different from what I thought it might be. That's probably a good way to say it. Maybe my hair wasn't long enough when I started the process of doing nothing to it. But lo and behold, it just wasn't really locking up, making the, the sections that it appears people's hair is supposed to do in a short amount of time after stopping said combing activities. So I thought there was something going awry. And about ooh, two months ago, maybe, I had a little bit of twist and rip done to my hair, which has pretty much fallen out for the most part. But what's left is there's some uh, definite sections going on and I'm starting to see a little bit of looping action here and there, which is on the delicate side, I suppose, since it hasn't locked up in a serious way. Oh, pulled that one apart a little. And look at that. Maybe one of my problems has to do with the shape of my hairline and the direction of my hair growth. That may sound stretching and reaching for some people. I have a fairly strong widow's peak, as you can see here. And all of the hair from the base of the widow's peak forward to the front of it tends to grow in a fairly forward and downward manner. And how that functions is my hair likes to do that, fall straight in my face. And it's really, for the last couple of months, been at the perfect length to really bug the shit out of me when I'm trying to eat something or drink a beverage or something like that. So I'm often trying to get it out of my face a little bit. And to the extent that it's possible, I even try to maybe tuck it behind my ear in the front, which may be hindering the lock forming and separation process that's going on in this front area. So I have a much more developed separation and uh, uh, sectioning going on in the very back. Don't know how well this looks. In the back it seems some of the sections that were twist and ripped ended up uh, staying together more or less, whereas the ones pretty much from the ear in a halo to the other ear forward, they more or less didn't stay together. But the ones kind of on the top crown area to the nape sort of stayed. To be honest, I don't really know what they look like. I haven't really spent any time attempting to see them. So, there's that going on. Uh, but my other issue seems to be uh, related to an activity that I care about and do fairly often, that's running. I'm really into exercise and running, and it is simply the most fucking annoying thing in the world to have stringy sections of my hair plastered to my sweat-drenched face. 
Uh, I'm living in Vietnam at the moment, and the climate is a little bit on the warm and muggy side, to say the least. So when I'm running, it's there's there's no worry about staying warm. That's for sure. Anyhow, my face turns bright red and gets covered in sweat within about five minutes. So that's become a great ugh, discomfort for me, really. So that's another source of difficulty, probably that I'm having with the front area. One thing that I usually do is I have this simple cotton cloth, little bicycles. I also love bicycling too, by the way. And what I often do, is I wear it around my neck. One thing it helps to keep the hair off of the back of my neck, and when it's really hot out, that can be a little bit sweat-tastic and uncomfortable. But when I'm running or cycling or doing something like cooking and my hair is just really pissing me off, I just throw it up like so. And uh, yeah, that, that pretty much keeps that on my face. So this is my go-to resort for when I just can't take it anymore. It's sticking or uh, otherwise bothering the shit out of me. So I don't know if this pressing down on the front part of my hair is maybe keeping it from locking or doing something like that, but it is what it is. Um, I've recently ordered some of the liquid uh, shampoo and the newly formulated locking up gel from the uh, Dreadlock shampoo site, which looks pretty promising to get the uh, get the old locking process going in a in a healthy natural way and not a waxy dirt attracting way. So I'm looking forward to giving that a shot and seeing how that affects the areas that have been so far rather reluctant to show any uh, tendency towards separation and locking. But um, there's mo no doubt things happening and uh, it's uh, beginning more than it is the middle towards the end of course of my journey so this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to watching how this uh, transpires and evolves. But uh, yeah, there you have a dreadlock video by Winston. After um, working as a hairdresser for seven years, I have been happy to begin this journey and also uh, begin the process of letting go some of the control-oriented fixating behaviors and, and mental states that were, I guess, my habit from my profession. And so maybe my, my difficulty in letting it just fall wherever it wants to fall is a, a, a carryover of my previous lifestyle, my previous career. But as time goes on, it's becoming easier and easier for me to do less and less with the hair. So, now you have it. Tape, video, piece number one. It is the 2nd of February, 2012. Of course, this journey may or may not be uh, very long uh, since the world is supposed to end this year. So, I guess the most I can hope for is maybe some mature locks by uh, December of this year before we all die and the earth explodes or polar ice caps turn into magnetic flaming balls of ice and something or other destroying the very fabric of space-time, all that good stuff. So we'll see how that all rolls. Um, but yeah, this is where we are. Thanks for watching.